<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Late Night Pouring with Karen and Bella from Waterfall Acrylics. She's hanging out with me tonight. Say hi, Bella. Tonight, uh, this is actually the second of video for today, so I'll post both tomorrow. Um, the first one was kind of rushed, and it's after midnight, everyone's in bed. All right, you want to go, kitty? Go ahead. Um, and tonight I'm going to do a 12 by 36. I've been, if the camera angle looks weird, it's because it's up really high to try to get as much of the canvas into frame as I can. I don't think I've ever filmed a 12 by 36 before. Um, I don't think I can get it all in, um, do the best I can. Let me show you the results from, uh, the last couple videos. First one is <clears throat> the space time continuum painting. I hate it. I just hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, my husband thinks it'll look great in a in a teenage boy's room. I'm like, that's sexist. He's like, it's true. They'll love it. And his deep manly voice. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Sell it, pour over it. I don't know. Fate to be determined. And then from a couple videos ago, this is, uh, what's this one called? Uh, this is Bikini Atoll. Um, another sandwich pour. Uh, fairly happy with it. The cells grew in this one as well because, you know, it stretched the hell out of the paint. And, um, but it's on the cradle wood. It dried super, so it'll get a coat of resin and I'll sell it. Um, it has some really pretty parts to it though. The blue cells everywhere like there are just gorgeous. And then like the cove, as I like to call it here, really, really pretty. So um, yeah, that would look great in somebody's house, I think. So, And then, uh, so tonight, um, I talked about it in a video I filmed earlier that you'll see, um, I'm still lamenting the loss of that one painting I did on the day I was sick and, um, got to do one more last sandwich pour, uh, to try and nail it down. You know, it's not going to happen, but I got to try. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Let me, uh, get this done on much of the canvas as I can, which is, so if I tilt, there's the end there, and there's the other end. So you're not missing much. And I'll come down just a little bit, and I'll be sure to show you the uh, edges as I go along. This is a, as I said, a 12 by 36 pre-gessoed ampersand cradle wood board. It's two inches deep. It's substantial. I love it. Love it, love it. Uh, Christmas present. Uh, been dying to pour on it. So I think tonight this will be fairly substantial because I can't really do a lot, um, you know, in determining where the cups go because it's long and skinny. So I think it's just going to be one, two, three, four, five and uh, see what we get. So colors tonight. Same as before, uh, we have, we killed off some Amsterdam turquoise green. Where's that cup? Right there. I do like the wood because I can set things on it. So that one's a goner. We had some Liquitex Basics, the Cadmium Red Light U, AKA orange. We had some Artist Loft. This is the Phalo Blue. I'm giving the, um, my Windsor Newton the night off. And then the raw sienna, I switched over to Golden's raw sienna just because it's a better shade and didn't look like baby poo. So there's that guy. There's the phalo blue. Uh, there's the orange. And then finally I've added some, uh, this is Naples Yellow Deep. So a shade darker than the regular Naples yellow. We'll put him there. And then I have 
giant, giant um, containers of titanium white, which is basically the flow acrylic titanium white from Artist Loft. See, when everyone's in bed, I feel like I have to whisper. I'm telling you. So pour me a recipe tonight. Um, I made 24 ounces, 16 of which was Elmer's glue wall. Um, and then six ounces of Floetrol with two ounces of Liquitex pouring medium, just cause I had one of those little baby bottles and I wanted to kill it off. That's in the um, pouring medium since that little bit of Liquitex isn't gonna do anything. What I did with my colors is, um, it was a 40-60 mix, 40% being pouring medium. And then what I did was give um, a good squirt in all the colors, not in the white of my GAC 800, um, because I like GAC cells. And then uh, water for consistency in all the colors. Consistency tonight. Not too thick, not too thin. Nice little trace, it disappears within a second. I think this is my preferred consistency right there. And then I'm gonna do another sandwich. It's weird here, it's so quiet. I have my tea, I have my midnight snack, which tonight, I don't, I'm out of chocolate. It's like a sin. I have uh, some cherry Twizzlers. That's my sugar high for late night pouring. And um, I'm just gonna layer white in the cups, add a little bit of layering of the colors, and give this another go. See what happens. Maybe a little more. I'm, just, I'm a cup short. Oh, there it is. It's got water in it. I was reusing cups. That won't hurt anything. So I had um, submitted my best three pieces of art um, that I thought were my best that I haven't sold yet to um, a local art gallery that had an open call. And I wrote up my bio and descriptions. I think I told you that before. Let me add um, some drops of my spot on to the, to the colors, four drops. my new little favorite thing is to like do two on top of each other and then dunk one and then turn and spin the others because I'm silly. I might have said this before. I'm having deja vu. Just roll with it. Anyway, I got rejection letters or emails today for all three pieces. And I'm trying not to take it personally because they did go, their Instagram um, page said that they had an overwhelming response to the open call for artists. So I'll just take it that there was just too many people and they couldn't do everybody. And my husband, he was so nice. When I told him, he was like, what? That's ridiculous. They're crazy. Do they know what they're missing out on? I was like, oh, that's so nice. All right. And think about my order. I feel like I want more white in all those cups. Oh, yeah, that's better.
husband's already in bed and I totally forgot to tell him about the birds. So we have a um, French doors just off that way where the rest of our dining room is um, that lead out to, a, we have a really big deck. And on the brick wall, there's a vent with like a little hood over it. That's an opening and that's like where the ductwork goes from our fume hood, from our range. And uh, so when you turn on the fan, you know, when you're cooking, that's where the air goes outside there. And uh, small layers, Karen. Do I want these all the same? Nope. That's gonna be lucky. Anyway, that little vent outside has um, has like this little roof over it and then an opening. And a couple years ago, we discovered that birds were getting in there and building their nests. And he went in and he's been like every, every winter and spring he has a battle with the birds. And he went out to Home Depot and got chicken coop. And he's like, I'll fix those birdies. <laughs> he put chicken coop over it. And every year, the birds just like nudge over a side of the chicken coop and get in. Like one year, he got on a stepladder and put his entire arm in there and pulled out, I think, four birds' nests. Um, and so this morning when I was goofing around, I could, uh, I'm like, what is that noise? And sure enough, whole big family. It sounds like they're, you know, in my stove. We're in there chirping away, happy as could be, out of the weather, loving life. So maybe I won't tell him. My daughter was really bummed out one year because um, the, the mommy bird kept kicking out a baby. I guess she felt like, now I guess it was the run or whatever. She wasn't having it and she kicked it out. And Chloe found it and was like, oh, we have to put it back in the nest. It'll die. I'm like, oh my God, Chloe. So we got one of her little sand shovels and we scooped it up and we put it back in the nest. And sure enough, two hours later, mommy bird said, nah, -uh, out. And then it died. And then we had to have a funeral. And that was pretty funny. Well, not the Chloe, but I was amused. Oh, not so much paint again. Not so much paint. Just a little. What do I got here? One, two, three. This one's just missing the yellow. All right, that has all the colors. attention to what I'm doing for a second. All right, he's done. He's done. That's done. One, two, three, four. Green. Green. Green's done. That's done. That's done. layered that's all we're using bring this back up here
go ahead and just cover the tops. Make sure I have enough white to at least do that. And then I'll add more. You could use more if you. Well, I hope this works because I am just about out of glue and I'm out of flow troll. Scrape that out later. All right. Have some lucky licorice. That'll do the trick. Mm. Mm. I might have mentioned this in the other video I filmed today. I don't think I did, so I'm gonna. If I did, well, you hear it twice. And oh yes. If you think I talk too much, please fast forward. Go right to the good stuff, please. Um, my torches are all clean. And I talked about this way in an earlier video, but if your torch is getting particularly grody, you can squirt it down with paint remover. Let it soak for five, 10 minutes. Give it a good scrub with an SOS pad and some Dawn uh, dish soap. Scrub it down, rinse it off, let it sit overnight. Give it a good shake to shake the water out. And look, pretty good, I thought. I didn't get it all off, but fires right up. If it doesn't fire up, um, I've had that happen. I just take my hair dryer to it and blow dry it. Good as new. So, this is the problem with filming twice in one day. I don't remember what I said or what I didn't say. All right. Oh good. Already nervous. I was feeling fearless in my last video. And when you see that video, uh, how it looks today, well you'll see it in the picture. Doesn't, um, it's mostly the same, but there are some differences in how it looks because I fiddled with the, with the painting. Um, after I said goodbye to you all. So, okay. Nuh-uh, uh-uh, 
where you think you're going. Uh-huh. <laughs> I saved a bunch of that. <laughs> So close to the edge this time. Are you running off over there? You are, oh well. You're gonna run off too, aren't you? I'm not gonna let you. Freeze right there. All right, no sides to worry about. Uh, man, lots of bubbles. I don't know if I want to, man, I could just tell the cells want to pop out and I just don't want them to. Yeah, I just want little ones at the end, so. I am not going to torch right now. Uh, let's see. This should be pretty easy, I keep saying, hopefully. Let me. Oh my God, it's heavy. It's like five balloons. Good. All right. I'm not going to worry about that one corner. I'll just touch a white over there. I don't even know. Can you guys see? I can't tell at the moment. Too busy looking. That was an arm workout. Where's my spoon? I got it out tonight. Just doing uh, this one little corner. Wasn't quite covered, just needs some like pale whitish green. Ooh, that's ugly. And a little spot in this other corner that you can't see. Hold on. More linear than I would have liked, but you know, that's the canvas, so what are you gonna do? Let me wipe off my hands. So I'm like so happy to have my apron back. Give it a torch. The light torch, maybe along the lines. Maybe I do in between the lines this time. Like anything happening here? Like a 
just sideways. There's a ton of bubbles. I just want like cute little random gap cells. That's it. Not the big mass. Of stuff. Just my soft, subtle. Oh, I feel like I'm winning the lottery, y'all. This is looking good. Notice you do have to torch longer when you do sandwich pours. It takes a minute for the cells to come up. All that white, it's going to fight through all that heavy white. white but it's not happening. Where else? Where else? This white is working out well. It's like okay. I'll join you. God, it's the daintiest painting ever. It's so dainty. I think I'm happy. I think I'll get over my other painting. I think I will. Let me rest a second. Or just get these bubbles here. Twizzler on it. It's awesome. There's just enough like little spots of bigger cells um, to give it some variety. I'm just waiting a second to see how much these grow. Because um, like I said, like the bikini atoll picture, when you stretch it all out like that. Well, this one isn't too stretched, so maybe they won't grow. I didn't stretch it out as much because it's because of the shape, but I think I'm really happy. Let me just show you. I'm just going to wait a minute and hang out how much. Look, I'm under half an hour, so I'll just wait a second, see what those cells do. But there's the two ends, like there. So, oops. Too much tilting. Oop. Oh. Hold on. Like that. Yeah, some of these are getting bigger. And man, I'm enamored with the white cells. Have I mentioned that before? With the fine lines around them? I'm just... They are my new favorite thing, for sure. That is really pretty. I think with this one, I got it out of my system. Yep, nothing else seems to be happening. Um. There's a corner in my upper left here I don't like that I'm probably gonna try and do something about. It just looks messy where I spooned it. Let's see what's in my cups. I 
a little better. I'll fuss with it later. Let me bring you down. Take a look. Tell me what you think. So here's this end here with these guys, with the blue green and the cells. See, like the big and the little, and the big and the little. Where, wait, where am I? Yeah, right there, or at the end here, down here. Ah, I love that. That's great. And little pops of color over here with these baby guys. And then this middle section here. That's really great too. Pops of orange. That might be my favorite and it's right in the middle. And then the background here is just gorgeous. It looks darker. I don't know why on my camera. That looks like a fairly dark green and it's not. It is very light mixed in with the yellow and the raw sienna. And then the little blue land here with the stripes. This is the one time you don't mind um, the caterpillar, especially when you get them inside the stripe like that, they're like, we're in formation. We're good. Let me see if I can come up. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's like, I'm holding it way up above my head. That's like the whole thing. I'll try to take pictures of it. It's going to be tough. But uh, look at that 32 minutes too. Yay, I got it out of my system. Um, that's really pretty. I'll take it. And, uh, when will I see you again? Maybe one or two more before I go on vacation. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.